welcoming you all to our YouTube channel. Hope all of you are fine. The topic for our discussion is free martinism in dairy cattle, which is an enemy for farmers economy. Free martinism is a common form of an intersex condition found in cattle. Majority of farmers are not aware about this infertility condition thus costing them their money. A free martin is a female, born as a co-twin with a male fetus with whom she had exchanged her whole blood through placenta when they were in the womb. As a result, this female is infertile by birth. However, the farmers who are not aware about this condition rear these animals for a few years. They usually suspect their fertility only when these animals do not attain puberty even after two or three years of age. Rearing these infertile free martins, instead of culling them, is causing economic loss to the farmers. Therefore, knowing about the free martinism and their quintessential diagnostic methods are essential for farmers. Let's see the genetic aspect of free martinism. Normally males have 60 XY karyotype and females have 60 XX karyotype. A free martin is genetically a female at conception with 60 XX karyotype. However, it becomes a 60 XXYY chimera in between male and female karyotype in free martin because of the hemopoietic and possibly gonadal tissues exchange. This form of infertility is of paramount importance in economic and also in the scientific point of view. There is a 92% possibility for sterility in the female, which born with a male. There are many diagnostic methods are available. First, we can see external examination. A newborn free martin can be recognized by its prominent clitoris with an apparent tuft of long coarse hair at the ventral commissar of the vulva, which is similar to that seen around the prepuce of male animals. The angulated vulva is noticed in free martins. The external signs like increased anovulval distance, enlarged clitoris, and developed scrotal pouch development noticed in few animals. Some reports are suggesting that free martins are taller than their female herd mates due to increased growth of long bones. Enlarged clitoris will result in upward spurting urine while the animal urinates. Long clitoris of 26 cm was recorded in brown Swiss free martin. Evidence of male secondary sexual characteristics has been noticed in older beef cattle like thickened necks and curly hair. Rectal examination. Rectal examination is possible in free martins when they have reached a minimum of 8 to 14 months of age. Stunted development of the vagina, cervix, uterus, gonads can be appreciated during rectal examination. Usually, these structures are not palpable during the rectal examination or they are very minute. The absence of cervix is a consistent finding in free martins. Test tube test or glass speculum test. A 0.35 to a half inch test tube or glass speculum can be inserted into the vulva of suspected heifer. If that heifer is a free martin, then the speculum will go no farther than about 7.5 to 10 centimeters or 3 to 4 inches. If the female is normal, some resistance may be encountered when the test tube passes through the vulvovaginal region. The tube will pass 12 to 18 cm into a freely dilatable vagina. The use of light or vaginoscope will reveal normal cervix. The only chance of error in this technique are heifers with imperforate hymen. Let's discuss about characteristics of internal genital organs in free martin. In the least affected cases, the female genital tract may be small, with a persistent hymen and underdeveloped ovaries. Ovaries remain small, about the size of a flattened barley grain and undifferentiated. 
Some animals may have some oocytes present in their gonads and may even have small follicles and luteal-like tissues. However, typical free martin is devoid of oocytes and follicles. In extreme cases, free martins may have well-developed male genital organs such as epididymides, vas deferens and vesicular glands. Other Other laboratory methods that can be used for the diagnosis are karyotyping, blood grouping, detection of Y-chromosome DNA, PCR, floor scent in C2 hybridization, HY antigen detection, detection of Mullerian inhibiting substance. Every farmer should understand that early diagnosis of free martinism is economically important. The risk is higher when the heifers are purchased from unknown sources. A person needs to be careful before buying heifers by confirming that these heifers were not born as a co-twin with a male. However, there is a chance that sellers may intentionally sell their free martin heifers. If that is the case, the points we have mentioned in this video, especially about external examination, will help one to escape from these situations. No treatment option is available for free martin. Therefore, free martins can be injected with male hormones and can be used as an estrus detector in farms. In an evolutionary point of view, the free martins genes are not passed on to the next generation and their direct contribution to genetic gain and species perpetuation is not apparent. The free martin cases have been increased since the introduction of second generation reproductive technologies. The incidence of free martins will increase furthermore in the future if induction of twinning by overfeeding or super ovulation are practiced. We came to the end of this video. The important message for the farmer is that we should avoid buying the female calf that born with a male calf. I repeat once again, we should avoid buying the female calf that born with a male calf. Because 92% of those calves will be infertile. Thank you all for watching.